Being developing news on the state's pension reform plan. A joint session of the House and Senate Finance Committees is about to get underway. Those lawmakers are considering changes to the massive overhaul tomorrow, and they'll return to cast their votes. Iowa to Sue's reporter Marilyn Scherer is live outside the State House with the details. We are here live outside the State House, still waiting for that joint hearing on pension reform changes to get underway. Now, we are told last minute changes are being hammered out on a pension reform bill that contains technical amendments and proposed changes. A joint session of the House and Senate Finance Committees was scheduled to start at 3 p.m. in hearing room 35. When that deadline passed, we were told things were in a holding pattern with last minute negotiations taking place between legislators and Treasurer Gina Raimondo. All of this on the heels of a busy week for pension reform with yesterday's workers rally and now a possible vote between the two separate finance committees scheduled for tomorrow at 6 p.m. depending on how things go today. The governor and the treasurer continue to ask for pension reform, but the treasurer, we are told, is closely involved with amendment changes and negotiations on this pension reforms bill. So, of course, among the issues under discussion and some of the changes that could take place have to do with COLAs or the suspension of the cost of living uh, adjustments. And now we're also told these lengthy negotiations are reportedly all part of the legislators' effort to demonstrate transparency when it comes to anything having to do with pension reform discussions. Last we heard, this joint uh, hearing was scheduled to begin at 6 o'clock. That is the very latest reporting live outside the State House with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Marilyn Shera. Eyewitness News.